been a roller coaster two years here on Ace of Vegas. This has probably been my biggest year yet on YouTube, and it's been a great one. And I'm a little concerned it might also be my last one. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. So for today's video, what I wanted to talk about is how Copa affects myself and all your other favorite Vegas YouTubers. YouTubers like Jacob's Life in Vegas, Danny702, Living in Las Vegas, Not Leaving Las Vegas, Vegas Tips and Tricks, Hagen Two Cent, Pennies for Vegas, Matthew Bridger, Slot Lady, and many, many more. And it's all straight from our friends at the FTC. So here's the basics of it. The FTC recently fined YouTube over $170 million dollars after YouTube illegally collected data on minors to serve them targeted ads, which is in direct violation of the COPA Act, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, a law that went into effect around the year 2000 to protect children under the age of 13 from having their personal data collected and used in malicious manners by websites. With that, YouTube enacted a few new policies. Principal among them is they're going to require content creators like you and me to designate our videos as specifically made for children or not made for children at all. If your videos are for children, then you lose a lot of features. 60 to 90 percent of your ad revenue is right down the drain straight away. But that's not the worst of it. You also lose the ability to host comments on your videos, to notify your viewers when you have a new video. There are no suggestion cards for additional videos, no end screens to direct viewers to videos that might interest them, no community tab to post pictures or poll your audience, no playlists for your viewers to enjoy your content, so on and so forth. But I know what you're thinking. Ace. You're a Vegas tuber. Vegas is for adults. You've taken a hard stance against this kids in Vegas thing anyway. Just mark your videos as not for kids and keep helping us with our My Vegas Win, Binions, and Comp City questions. And I agree. Even as a family man, I say Vegas should have nothing to do with children. Not everyone agrees with me, even on my channel, but I think everyone respects my stance on it. And I respect folks that find ways to make their Vegas experience family friendly. And I still think that's great. But here's the kicker. The FTC and its employees can check out YouTube at any time for an audit. And if they decide at any given point in time that the content you post can be interpreted as directed for children, they can fine you up to $42,000 per video. I'm sitting on about 200 videos on the platform right now, and admittedly, I think that's a lot of money. So the way a video is determined to be directed at children or even appealing to children is based on the original COPA law from 1998. Using certain language, like the common adjective cool in a video, can in extreme cases qualify a video as appealing to kids. But it gets worse. Celebrities that appeal to children or even child actors in a video can make a video appealing to children. And here's another kicker including any sort of product or activity that a child may like, like sports, sugar cereal, or video games, can make it appealing to children. And therein lies my problem. Approximately 60% of my content is based on My Vegas slots and other such mobile games. Despite the fact that they're rated T to M in the App Store, they're still video games. And admittedly, they're colorful, bright, and the music is loud and cheery. So as long as that type of language appears in the law, I'm on the chopping block. And I have over 70 videos in the best games in my Vegas series alone. And that's not where it stops. I tend to parody pop culture icons like Avatar The Last Airbender and Transformers in my content too. Things that appealed to me as a child and might appeal to other children too. And I do include some family friendly things to do in Vegas, like the dolphin habitat at the Mirage and the shark reef at Mandalay Bay. No, don't get it twisted, I'm not against the protection of a child's online privacy, and I believe companies and individuals preying on children should be punished with the utmost prejudice. What concerns me is that how YouTube, and oftentimes the FTC, don't always recognize even not-so-subtle nuances. I've had to challenge and appeal copyright claims and strikes on my channel in the past for doing clear parodies and commentary protected under the Fair Use Act disclaimer of the Copyright Act of 1976. Unfortunately, I may be a bit creatively hobbled. I may not be able to make my pop cultural references, my in-jokes, or do voice acting parodies of popular TV shows and movies that tie into the subject matter for a video going forward. And ultimately, Ace of Vegas could just end as we know it. 
it's not about the money. My spouse and I still have regular day jobs, and what I make from YouTube isn't enough to cover bills anyway. It's more about the community. I built such a large community and network with so many great YouTubers, podcasters, group moderators, admins over the years, and in person in some cases too. Not to mention the hundreds of subscribers that come to watch my content and interact with me online every day. My target audience is and always has been adults 21 and up looking to have a good time in Las Vegas and save a few bucks doing it. Now, if you've gotten this far in the video and are concerned about me or your other favorite Vegas tubers, here's what you can do to help. I found a resource at FTC.org that I've linked in the description box below. Here, you can voice your opinion to the FTC in a civil manner in hopes of inciting change. And personally, as a parent, I highly recommend giving your children under the age of 12 the YouTube Kids app. There, all the adult content is filtered out, and data won't be collected on them. Unlike, say, handing them your phone right now, which is signed into your account, and you are over 13 years old. And yes, I'm guilty of making this mistake too, and I've suffered through a few My Little Pony ads as a punishment for it. But that's all the time we have for today's video. If this video helped you understand and support your favorite Vegas tubers in any way, I'd appreciate a like and share the video to get the word out. Again, this isn't an attack on the FTC or the COPA, but a call to action to protect honest creators that might be caught in the crossfire. Thank you all for watching.